He came to the conference hall with a lot to prove. Doubts about policy, doubts about leadership. But as his team said, without the safety net of an auto queue, he set about offering an almost patriotic vision. Are you satisfied with a country standing apart as two nations? Well, I'm not satisfied. We're Britain. We're better than this. We would hear that refrain many times more. And then the biggest policy announcement of the speech, a promise to crack down on energy companies and hold down prices. If we win that election in 2015, the next Labour government will freeze gas and electricity prices until the start of 2017. So a new Labour government elected in 2015 would freeze gas and electricity prices for consumers and businesses until January 2017. Over that period, the energy market would be restructured. Companies that both produce energy and sell to customers would be split up. The current regulator Ofgem would be abolished and replaced by a stronger body. Labour say the 20-month freeze would save the average family around £120 in energy bills. Miliband's promise will give hope to many millions of consumers that are struggling to pay their household energy bills. We've got to see the details, but the commitment to serious reform to get competition into the energy market and to protect consumers will be very welcome. There were other promises, votes for 16 and 17 year olds, for example, but mainly his message was the government's taking Britain on a race to the bottom on wages and living standards, and it doesn't have to be that way. And so now it falls to us to build one nation, a country for all, a Britain we rebuild together. Britain's best days lie ahead. Britain can do better than this. We're Britain. We're better than this. I'll lead a government that fights for you. Thank you very much. Ed Miliband has offered a new vision and some new policies. Clearly here in the hall, it. He is hoping that the vote is out in the country will too. In the audience, one comedian turned campaigner liked what he heard about a crackdown on the energy companies. They'll complain about it and say we can't afford it. I don't think anyone seriously believes they can't afford it. Um, it just means that some of the people who run those companies aren't going to be able to line their pockets quite as much. And it's a very brave decision and it's something concrete and real and specific. Unmistakably British unmistakably progressive, unmistakably usable for the great mass of our people. He left the hall with a spring in his step. His opponents should know better than to write him off.